Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Clark and today I'm going to show you how to do this coding project where you write your own custom questions and if people answer them correctly, pixels pop up a little bit by bit creating a mystery reveal picture that looks like a chocolate kiss. That's great for Valentine's Day and it also has kind of Christmassy colors with it too. Um, I hope this video will help you also if you're coding your own pixel art. So if you already have a picture ready to go, then um, this will still help you learn how to code. And if you want to follow along with me and get this exact template, you can get this project by clicking on the link in the description below and it'll look exactly like the one on my screen. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is come up to the percentage here, click on the arrow and set it to 75 so I can actually see everything. Now, what we're going to be doing is writing our own questions and writing the answers and then coding the answer boxes. The first step, therefore, is to write our own questions. You do that just by clicking and typing in the box and we are also going to answer our questions. So go ahead and write your questions and answer them. Now that I have my questions and answers ready, we can talk about the coding. I am going to be coding just the answer boxes, just these, that's it. I'm going to do one box at a time and when I do it, I'm gonna tell the computer, if someone puts a nine in this box, I want it to turn a certain color and I'll be using colors from the picture. So I have these colors to work with. So if someone answers this question correctly, I want it to turn light pink. For the actual code, we're only going to have to tell the computer a few things. We're going to tell the computer the column and row of this box so that the computer knows what box I'm talking about. The column is B. This is all in column B right here. And then the row, come over here and see these are all shaded. The row is four, five, six, and seven. But when I'm writing the code, I'm going to use the first number only. So the row is four. So this box is column B, row four. This box is column B, row eight. This box is column B, row 12. The last thing we'll put in the code is telling the computer what the answer to my question is. Nine, three, February, Mercury, I need to tell the computer what needs to be in that box in order for the code to work. So again, I'll tell the computer the column, the row, and the answer. And with that being said, let's look at our actual code now. It's right down here, and I recommend that you write it down. The code is equals dollar sign column, dollar sign row equals answer. So the equal sign and the dollar sign, those are just symbols that you just have to type. And then for the column, I'll say the column the box is in. For the row, I'll say the row that the box is in. And then for the answer, I'll put the answer to my question. So for example, this box's code will be equals dollar sign B, dollar sign four equals nine. This one will be equals dollar sign B, dollar sign eight equals three. This one will be equals dollar sign B, dollar sign 12 equals February. And that's how I write the code. So let's go ahead and open our coding window and start. I'm going to click on the box I actually want to start with, which is this nine here. And I am going to come up to format. If you don't have this window, click on this. Choose conditional formatting. And we'll keep this window up the whole time, but if it closes, that's how you open it again. This is the window we're working with, and you can see it turned that nine box blue because it knows that that's the one we want to start with. I always go from the bottom up, so I'm going to do this, and then this, and then this. Therefore, the first step is to tell the computer what color I want it to turn, and I want to pick colors from my chocolate kiss, but I don't actually know quite which one I want to do. Let's say I want to do some of the lightest pink, so I'm actually going to click on it so I can see where it's located. And so I can see it's the first custom color. I do that just so I can tell what color I'm talking about. Now let me come back and click on the box I'm actually coding, which is this one. Back to our paint bucket, I have to find that color. That's why I was just looking at it. It's this one. Select the color you want the box to turn. Now we're going to write our code. To do that, click here. 
Scroll all the way down to the last option, Custom Formula Is. Click on that. This is where we're going to write our code, telling the computer the column and row of this box and telling the computer that the answer needs to be 9, in my case anyways. Equals dollar sign B dollar sign 4. So the B is the column, the 4 is the row. Equals 9. Keep this window open, but I'm going to close it because I just want to show you that this code is technically correct. I've told the computer if there's a 9 in that box, turn it pink. And if there's not a 9 in that box, or if there's another number in that box, do not turn it pink. But if there's a 9 in it, turn it pink. So the code works. What I want to do now is just attach some of these pixels to it so that when this turns pink, a few of the pixels from the kiss also turn pink. That's what this last step is for. It's called apply to range. It already has this in it. That's the box. That's the big box. And then I just want to add in some of these other pixels that are the same light at pink, lightest pink. So I'm going to click on this button. This window pops up. I'm going to drag it over. See that nine box is still selected. It needs to stay that way. So before I start clicking on pixels, I need to hold down a button on my computer. That button is control. It's usually in the corner. There's two of them. If you have a Mac, you're going to hold down command. So with one finger, I hold down control. And now I'm going to go through and click on some of these light pinks that I want to add to the code. If at any point you're not entirely sure, is that a light pink or is it the pink? You know, it doesn't matter that much. It's still going to look like a kiss. It's just for shading purposes. So if some of these colors start to look similar to you, don't worry about it. It's okay if you, if it changes a little bit, it's still going to look nice. I have selected some of those light pinks, not all of them, but some of them. Now I'm going to take my finger off of control. And to finalize, I have to do three steps. I need to hit OK on the range, done on the code, and this last step is super important. It's really easy to forget, so don't forget it. Come up to the paint bucket, click on it, and you need to click reset. Now there's a bunch of stuff selected, so just click off of it. And we are going to come up here and take the 9 away to test it. So hit delete or backspace, and the colors disappear. Put the 9 back in. You have to click off of it and the colors pop back. That's great. It worked. Um, I am not going to leave the 9 there because then I can't tell what I've clicked on and what I haven't. So take the 9 out. But you can see that the code is still here. That code is good. We're going to leave it and we're going to move on to our next box. So now we're going to code this box. But first, let's decide what color we want to do. I'm leaning towards this darkest red. Kind of nice to get that done. So I'm going to click on it and just so I can find it. It's the second custom color. Okay, great. All right. Now that I've done that, I need to actually come click on the box I'm actually coding, which is this one. And we are going to click add another rule. Or if you close this accidentally, just open it the same way we did before. You'll get to the same place either way. Okay. Start at the bottom. First, tell the computer what color you want it to turn. I chose the dark red, so it's a good thing I was just looking at it because I want to know which one I'm talking about. This one here. Now I'm going to write my code. Clicking, come all the way down and write my code telling the computer the column and row of this box, telling the computer that the answer needs to be three. So equals dollar sign B, that's the column, dollar sign eight, that's the row, equals three, that's the answer. Technically my code is done, but of course I wanna add in the dark reds from the picture. To do that, I'll click apply to range, slide this over. I need this box to say stay selected, so I'm gonna hold down control, and I'm gonna click on the dark reds. I think I'm just gonna do all of them right now just to get them all out of there. Sometimes I do half of them, it just depends on how many questions I have left over. So I'll talk about that in a little bit. 
Now, there are some like reds here. There's a dark red and then a red that are kind of similar. So if you get them mixed up, it does not matter that much. It's just for shading, but those are all my dark reds. I'm gonna lift up on control and I'm gonna do my three steps. Try to remember what they are. So step one is to hit okay on the range. Step two is to hit done on the code. And step three is to reset the paint bucket. Click off of it. And now let's test it. If we put our answers back in and then click off of it, we should have a full chocolate kiss. Now we'll keep going. So for our next one, I think I will do the darker of the two grays up there. Let me click on that color first and make sure I can find it in the paint bucket. Let's see here. It is down in this first column and it is the fourth one in. And like I said before, if I ended up using that one or that one, it would be fine. It wouldn't look exactly the way the mine does, but it would still look great. So don't worry too much. This is the fourth one. And now I got to make sure to click on this box because this is the box I'm coding. And I'm going to click add another rule. We'll start at the bottom. Choose the color that you want it to turn. Now we're going to write our code. Custom formula is telling the computer the column and row of this box and telling it that it needs to equal February. Equals dollar sign B, that's the column, dollar sign 12, that's the row, equals February. Now, you will notice that dollar sign B, dollar sign 12, okay, that it turned white, and that's because February is a word. Before we were just working with numbers. When you're working with words, it's slightly different, super easy, but all you have to do is add quotes at the beginning and the end. And there, it turned back to gray. So it'll tell you if the code isn't right because it turned white. And if the code is right, it'll turn the color you asked it to, which is pretty great. Last step, let's apply it to our range, which just means we're going to add in some pixels. That box needs to stay selected, hold down control, and I'm going to click on all of the grays holding down control, lift up, three steps. Hit okay on the range, done on the code, reset the paint bucket, let's test it. And we should have an entire chocolate kiss there, looking good. All right, we'll do another one. So here's what we have, we've got our light pink, and our pink, they're kind of similar looking, but there's pink, light pink. We have two reds left, see if you can spot them. We've got this bright red and then red. And then we have gray. So we have five colors left and we have six questions. So that means I'll do um, one split. Like the next one I do, I'll do some of the color, but not all of it. And then for the rest of them, I'll do one color per question and I'll finish right on time. So I think I'm going to do some of that bright red because there's a lot of it. I'll just do about half of it here for this one. So let me find it first. Clicking on it, looking at the paint bucket. It's right here. Okay, now I need to go to the, the box I'm actually coding, which is my mercury box, and click add another rule. Starting at the bottom, I'm going to tell the computer what color I want it to turn. Now I'll write my code. Telling the computer the column and row of that box and putting mercury in quotes. So that was row 16 equals mercury. There we go, code works because it's red. Now I'm going to apply to range and I'll use about half of those bright reds. And again, if I had trouble seeing the difference between these two reds and I clicked on a different red, it wouldn't matter. It would be fine. This pixel art is just meant to be fun and have these different shades in it. So don't worry about that too much. All right, there are some of my bright reds. Now I'll lift up on control and I'm going to do my three steps. Okay on the range, done on the code, and reset the paint bucket, and then we can test it. There we go. So 
I now have five colors left and five questions left. I am going to do one color per question until I get to the end. So I have my light gray, um, this red, bright red, pink, and light pink. So for each one of these, I'll do all of that color and use it all up. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video now and then we'll check in at the end and we'll see how it looks. Okay, when we're finished, there should be no pixels left over. If you accidentally left any pixels left over, that's okay. There is a video here called Common Mistakes and uh, Troubleshooting that you can click on, or you can go to my channel and it's under the pixel art, um, and it'll show you how to fix that up. But if you look through here, as I cycle through, look over there on the right, you can see those codes popping up. So if I need to open any of my codes, I can find them. It shows me what color it is, but there are all my different codes. And now let's go ahead and close that. We're gonna answer our questions and see our chocolate kiss pop up little bit by bit. And there's our finished kiss. So I hope that you have fun with this project or if you're coding your own, that this helps you with the process. Remember that it's very normal for this to be hard at first. My first time I did it, I made a ton of mistakes and now it's really easy for me. So just stick with it because it feels really good when you accomplish it. It's a really cool thing to persevere with. And then this video here will help you, you know, if one of these boxes didn't turn color, um, or you left pixels behind or something's the wrong color, it'll help you with all of that. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have fun with this project.